Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel for another empties video. If you don't know what an empties video is, basically I save up the products that I've completely used up. I'll show you the packaging and talk about how I felt about the product and if I would repurchase. Because it's quite easy to get excited about a new product and start using it and think this is amazing and rave about it, but it's only by the time you've used up the entire container of that product that you will really be able to give a full in-depth review and to know if you loved it enough to repurchase it or if you're just done with it by that point. So let's just jump into it because I have a pile of trash next to me. So the first thing I'm reaching for, it's dusty, this has all been sitting there for a while, is the Nivea In Shower Skin Conditioner in the Cocoa Butter Scent. I've talked about this product a number of times before, I love it, I think it's so good and I hadn't tried the cocoa butter scent before and it is amazing. Let's see if it still has a scent. Oh, it smells like vanilla and chocolate and you guys know what cocoa butter smells like. It smells so good and I would repurchase. I can't actually find this in store anywhere. I haven't been able to find it at either of my supermarkets. I think I bought this one on iHerb, so that is where I'll have to repurchase. Next up are these this shampoo and conditioner set it is Aussie mega instant conditioner and mega shampoo this was given to me by my friend Cami because she had heard that I enjoyed this product and couldn't get it here so she brought it over from South Africa I do enjoy this because it gets my hair so clean and lightweight and it doesn't feel weighed down but I actually need it to be weighed down that doesn't make sense at all. I do have another conditioner here uh, and shampoo, which is my current favorite. So I can't repurchase the Aussie. We just don't get it here. I do recommend the product. I do like it. But what I'm currently enjoying is this. And I mentioned it in a favorites, I think. It is the Sun Silk Longer and Stronger. Obviously, I don't have long hair, but what I like about this is the shampoo gets my hair really clean and then the conditioner, I find it really nourishing, but it kind of, I don't want to say weighs my hair down. It really smooths my hair because I have like super strong hair that just like volume is not a problem for me. It just is really, really strong and it kind of comes out of the roots and wants to stick up and this conditioner smooths it and tames it and I really like that. But it doesn't feel like heavy and dense and greasy. So this is my new favorite. So these I do repurchase every time they run out. Okay, the next thing I have is this, which goes with this. So it was a Zoella soap pop and it was like a popsicle, like the stick was in the soap. And in the packaging, it smells so delicious. This range, it was this one, same as this. I put a sugar up here. It was her like bakery macaron inspired range. It smelled so good in the packaging and I was really looking forward to enjoying that scent because it is a beautiful scent in my shower. But it just didn't, like even on the stick, there's like a tiny bit of soap left. And it just, it smells like nothing. Like once I got it out of the packaging and began using it, it smelled of nothing, which was kind of disappointing. And using a bar of soap with a stick sticking out of it was kind of a pain as well. I did enjoy the soap. It was, it lathered well, but it rinsed off cleanly, but it didn't strip my skin. It was a good soap. I would recommend the soap. I was just disappointed that it wasn't scented all the way through and I probably wouldn't repurchase for that reason. So that takes me straight on to the Sweet Macaron Scented Bath Salts. So it just came in this package and it was a little packet of salts. And it's called Sugar Dip. And it smells so good. I mean, what can you expect from your bath salts other than to just make your water smell nice and make your bath feel like a pampering, luxurious experience. So it did that. No scent left, unfortunately. I would repurchase, depending on how much they cost. This was given to me by a friend, but I think I would repurchase. Speaking of bath salts and bath soaks, I have this mustard bath, which was given to me by my friend Cami. This is from South Africa, and I thought it had ingredients on it. Oh, ingredients, sea salt, mustard powder, wintergreen thyme, rosemary, and eucalyptus oil. It was just lovely scented bath salts, really. Again, what can you expect from bath salts? It made the bath enjoyable, and 
I like the smell. It, it's kind of almost like a medicinal herbal smell with a bit of mustard in the background, but that was really enjoyable in winter. So yeah, I enjoyed that. I can't repurchase because it's from South Africa, but it's a good product. Next up, I have the Asano Rosehip Cleanser. Now this is why an empties video I feel kind of has more value in terms of reviews than favorites because I did share this in a favorites video. I really enjoyed the creamy cleanser and I felt like it worked well, but the more I used it, I don't know, I just don't feel like it took off my makeup and that's what I wanted. So as a skin cleanser, lovely, but as a cleanser to remove makeup, not so much and for that reason I won't be repurchasing. Staying in the shower I have another shower product which is a shower gel. There you go, it is the African Extracts Rooibos Refreshing Bath and Shower Gel. This was given to me also by Cami, and I really enjoyed the scent and it was a lovely product to use. It lathered well, it rinsed cleanly. I can't repurchase because it's from South Africa but it's a good one. I have an empty deodorant. This is the roll-on deodorant that I use. I have and do repurchase it. It's just the one I prefer. Spray deodorants tend to give me an allergic reaction in my armpits, which is not fun. And I look like a monkey scratching in my pits, but this doesn't do that and that's why I enjoy it. And it works. Okay, I have another Isano Rose Hip product and it is the Night Cream. I really enjoy this. I have already repurchased. I like the glass pot. I like the packaging. I like that you can get every last drop of the product out. It has a beautiful texture, a very light scent, and it's just a great cream overall. And the price is usually right. I get it with my groceries from Countdown and I buy it when it's on offer. So a good product, have repurchased, do recommend. Okay, next up I have an empty Jamberry Nourish hand cream. I do rate this product, I think it's amazing. I no longer sell Jamberry, but this is a product that I will probably repurchase. I was actually just thinking yesterday that out of all the hand creams I use, I just keep going back to this one. I've got another one in my desk drawer and I will probably buy another one. I'll find a Jamberry consultant somewhere and buy it because it's just that good. So highly recommend this. Next up I have a mascara. It's probably not completely finished but you guys heard me talk about this in my faves and fails as a fail. I absolutely hate it. It just got more and more sticky and clumpy as I used it and I was just not prepared to use it to every last drop because it was getting worse and worse. I'm just going to toss it. I'm struggling through another one that I mentioned in my last faves and fails that is also a fail. Life's too short to hate your mascara every single day so yeah I need to just get one that I like and toss this one and the one I'm busy using. Next up I have another moisturizer and it is the Neutrogena Hydro Boost Gel. Hydro Boost? water gel yeah this is such a lovely moisturizer I did try the night version and it's pretty much the same it just has tiny little beads in it but it does the same thing and feels the same but I do enjoy this product and I have and would repurchase I do recommend it it's just such a lovely lightweight gel moisturizer that just sinks into your skin and because of the hyaluronic acid it actually attracts moisture from the atmosphere of which we have plenty right now the humidity is ridiculous but it keeps your skin feeling really hydrated and moisturized and i think it would suit all skin types so i do recommend this next i have an essential oil it is lavender this little bottle was twenty dollars and i have repurchased lavender essential oil but not this brand because for a lesser price i could get twice the size bottle uh, so i do recommend Lavender essential oil, it is particularly amazing on burns. If you burn yourself, however you burn yourself on something hot with boiling water, put it under cold tap straight away and then get yourself, like dry it off, get yourself some lavender essential oil and drop that on there. It is amazing. It takes away the burn, like the painful feeling. It takes away blisters. It's amazing. And if it starts to throb and hurt again, just put some more on. Good stuff. I use it for all kinds of things. I diffuse it. So. Yes, I would and have repurchased lavender essential oil, but not the Dolphin Clinic brand in particular. I'm very sad to say that I have finished this lipstick. It is a Miss Sporty Sheer and Shine. I love a Sheer and Shine lipstick. This color in particular was just so natural. I really enjoyed this, but 
I mean, it's concave. And the whole point to me of a sheer and shine lipstick is that it's moisturizing and like a lip balm, but it has a bit of color and you can just grab it and put it on and you don't need a mirror. So to have to go and use a mirror and a lip brush and get the last bit out defeats the purpose for me. Plus this is probably about a decade old, so that can go. I would 100% repurchase, but I can't get Miss Sporty in New Zealand, so I guess I won't be. Next up, I have an e.l.f. Eyelid Primer. I have repurchased this. I mean, I've used this multiple times. This is one of many tubes that I've gone through. I just think it's a great, inexpensive eyelid primer. It does the job. I would recommend it. Next up, I have this little tube of By Nature Eye Cream. I've talked about this in a favorites before, I think. It is an excellent eye cream. It's inexpensive. I get it from the warehouse. I have repurchased, although I have found a different eye cream that I prefer which I'll obviously talk about when that pot's empty. So this isn't a bad product, I would definitely recommend it. I just haven't repurchased because I've tried something else that I like. Next up, I have another mascara, which is the Buxom. Feeling sad that this is finished because I did enjoy it. It's got a nice bristly brush. I don't prefer the rubber brushes, but this one was pretty good. And like I said, I'm having mascara woes, so I kind of wish this one wasn't finished. I do recommend it and I would repurchase it. Next up, I have a Neutrogena oil-free face wash, just a little sample size. I don't even know where this came from, but I enjoyed using it. It is a good product, and if I was buying another face wash, I would buy this. It has 2% salicylic acid in, which I really like. I'm actually going to go and put this onto my shopping list because I did enjoy it. Next, I have a little pot of hyaluronic acid. I got this on iHerb. It says Hyaluronic Acid Night Gel, so I thought it would be like the Neutrogena Hydro Boost Gel Moisturizer. And because it said Night Gel, I thought it would be like a substitute for a night cream. That is not the case. It was literally a clear gel that you put on, and it is obviously Hyaluronic Acid, like it says, and it will attract moisture into your skin, but it wasn't sufficient to use as a moisturizer. I feel like this would be a good addition to a moisturizer or to use in place of a serum to really hydrate dehydrated skin I did find that I had to still put moisturizer on top of it and for that reason I won't be repurchasing two more items the second last one is this vo5 firm hold hairspray this is a good hairspray I find that the nozzle doesn't get all clogged up and it does the job and I have repurchased it and I would recommend it and then lastly, I have the St. Ives Blemish Control Apricot Scrub. I know people complain about this scrub, that it's very harsh and gritty and it's got chunks of, I guess, apricot shell in it and it's got the salicylic acid. I really like that. If I'm going to scrub my skin, I want to scrub my skin and my skin responds very well to that. It doesn't get irritated or anything. So I would repurchase this. I've currently got one that was given to me by my uncle and it is lovely and creamy and it feels nourishing on the skin but the beads in it are too soft my skin likes a good hard scrub and this does the job so i have repurchased this like i've used this multiple times and i would recommend it if your skin can take it so those are all of the products that i've used up in the last however many months i don't just save up one month's worth of products because i don't go through things that quickly i just tend to save up empty things until i have enough to do a video I hope you found this informative and helpful or interesting in some way. If you did, please give me a thumbs up and consider subscribing if you haven't already. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next one.